Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between private sector and public sector work and jobs and the pros and the cons of each one. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be starting some seeds in my little seed trays. So it's just something fun to do while I chat with you guys about environmental science careers. Today I'm going to be planting marigolds. Marigolds. Okay, I'm gonna be planting those while chatting with you guys. There's gonna be a lot of generalizations that um, you just kind of have to take everything I say with a little bit of a grain of salt because it's gonna depend on the country that you are in. Editing self here. I'm not gonna to talk too much about academia or the nonprofit world. Those are totally valid careers, um, just not within the scope of this video. So let me know if you wanna see that as well. So some of the things that differentiates the public sector and the private sector is that the public sector um, is basically government, government agencies. So those are gonna be jobs where you may be making decisions on policy, you may be creating conservation strategies to help protect the environment, you might be approving and reviewing permit applications, you might be contracted out to the government um, in the field and you are working on a field station that's run by the government. There's numerous different paths you can go down in the government world. In private world, um, basically what that means is you're not reporting to the taxpayers necessarily you are reporting to um, a company and so you're working on behalf of a company so that company might be um, a consulting company that is basically a bunch of scientists that get put together with project managers and project coordinators and they help um, do research or collect data for um, other entities other companies uh, such as oil and gas and mining and forestry or the government, um, anyone that needs data collected and wants to like pretty much purchase the time and expertise of scientists to collect that data. Or there's another option, you can work directly with industry. So you can work as a scientist directly with an oil and gas company, mining, forestry, all of that. Um, and so then you are working on behalf of that company. Think about like the Shell and the Exxon of the world um, working as a scientist with them. So that's another option for the private sector. There's a pretty big variety of um, differences between working with those two sectors. The one that comes up the most is pay, I would say. Um, pay, like I said, you can start as a minimum wage technician in the private sector and the public sector. So the low levels begin pretty much the same. But I would say there's a different ceiling. Um, so with the government, a lot of times um, you can get the same mid-level salary as uh, after a certain amount of time as the private sector. But the private sector has a big um, ceiling. So the private sector, you can, if you are working as an environmental manager for an oil and gas company, you're making probably well into the six figures versus it's harder to get to that point in the, in the public sector career. It maxes out a little bit um, before that usually unless you're really, really high level, like elected official maybe. Um, so I would say pay usually is a little bit higher in the private sector as a complete generalization. Um, the other thing that comes into consideration when you have to think about like your compensation package is benefits. And most of the time, uh, they can be quite similar between the two, but generally government is known for having better benefits. And that's actually why a lot of people choose a government job. So uh, the big difference is governments have unions a lot of times, like a government workers union, and they can negotiate really good benefits and really good pensions. And so pensions always comes up when people talk about government jobs. And a lot of times you will be offered a pension. Um, so that's basically like, the government, uh, your employer contributes into this pension account and you get like a guaranteed salary uh, when you are retired. Um, so that's a that's really nice thing to have. You cannot dismiss the value of, of a pension for sure. But there's also other options with private industry such as like 401k, RRSP, whatever your retirement account in, is in your country, sometimes they'll offer matching. So you put in 3% of your take home pay and they put in 3% to match. So it usually doesn't add up to as good as a pension, but uh, there is other options to get that in the private industry as well to set yourself up for retirement. Um, and then with health insurance, um, it, that just depends too much who you're working for. I've had bad health insurance 
uh, working for government. I've had good health insurance working for government and same with the private sector. So uh, that's a little bit more dependent on your company. Uh, what about lifestyle and work-life balance? That's a big one. Um, I think a lot of people really would agree that government wins out on the work-life balance side of things. Um, government is known for being a little bit more flexible and having more flexible schedules unless you're working as a government contractor, maybe on a remote field site. It might still be pretty rough, but a lot of times, especially if you are working a lot in the office, you will have a little bit better set schedules and you'll usually can be away from home a little bit less than the private sector. Um, so there can be more work-life balance if you're working for the government. However, um, something that's important to think about, especially for young biologists who want to travel the world, they want to, you know, go international and do all these like glamorous things. Well, one, <laughs> that's a little hard to do, but two, if you really want to travel the world and travel your country and see everything, private sector, actually, you might be working more, but you're also doing really interesting stuff some of the time you're traveling and you're going to all these different places depending on the job that you have especially if it's consulting um, so that might be worth thinking about is maybe at the beginning of your career you're more interested in getting the work experience and then transitioning into government later on you know once you need more work-life balance it's totally up to you to decide what is best for you and it, you can ask employers stuff at this job too like what's the work-life balance like what's the company culture like um so that's kind of something to think about but government usually is known for having better work-life balance uh hiring and ease of getting a job so uh government is known for notoriously slow and hard hiring in north america um, definitely with like the federal American government, some of those jobs just uh, take forever to hire and they get thousands of applicants. So I'd say government loses on the ease of getting a job aspect and um, private sector usually moves a little bit quicker. Um, and uh, the downside of that though, is they're also a little bit quicker to fire you <laughs> or to lay you off. Um, it's usually harder to lay off a government employee and it's easier to lay off a private sector employee, um, especially if there's a union with the government employees. So a lot of times you'll find in the private sector, your job's less stable and there's less job security there. Um, more prone to layoffs, more prone to like the oil price going down and then suddenly your entire office gets laid off. Uh, that's definitely can happen. And that's happened to me. I've been caught up in that when like resource prices go down, then suddenly you start cutting your environmental department. So um, I'd say the job insecurity is higher in the private sector and the public sector is a little bit more secure jobs, but it is harder to get hired into a government job a lot of the time. What about responsibilities? So responsibilities, uh, you're gonna have a lot of responsibilities in both jobs. Um, both, both sectors will require you to be responsible as a scientist and to have scientific integrity. And you know, you might find that challenged in some fields in the private world if you're working for an employer that's not the best, but it can also happen in the public world too, where your your in your um integrity and your scientific uh, morals are challenged. So that's common throughout both, I would say. But when you're working for the private sector, you're responsible to a company. When you're working for the public sector, you're responsible to the taxpayers and to the, the planet <laughs> as, you know, representing humans, you know, as the government. So I actually found um, even though I might have worked more in the private sector, like hours a day and hours a week, I actually felt like a higher level of responsibility and like importance in my work in the public sector because that's like when you start approving policies and, and writing conservation changes, that's when things start getting a little bit more, um, it really hits you deep and you want to make sure you're doing the right thing. And you always want to do the right thing in the private industry too, but I just cared less about like, um, you know, sampling a river water and reporting out on it than deciding like what can be allowed near a river, for example, of a policy decision. I don't know. Um, so I, it's, it's actually really unique because it gives you the value, like a lot of times the private world gives you the value of, um, you know, contributing towards conservation and making changes that the private industry may or may not give you but you also have added responsibility with that to, to do a really good job. So there can be some stress there. 
it can be it can be really difficult to decide and it, there's no problem with switching between both and trying out new things um, I found you can get a wide variety of experience in all different sectors so don't worry too much about exactly where you're gonna go but look at the jobs available and maybe take this into consideration when you're choosing between what path you want to take in the future um, so I got all of my seeds in here so they're nicely tucked away and I'm gonna give them a little spray and they're gonna germinate in a few days these ones already did and they'll make a beautiful garden for me uh, soon in a month maybe two months um, yeah that's kind of fun to, fun to do at the same time uh, let me know if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section down below let me know if you're more interested in going into one field or another if you agree or disagree if you have experience with this and um, Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.